She was assaulted, beaten, and physically broken by a murderer. Lydia Tillman's spirit is the one thing Travis Forbes could not change. He's now serving a life sentence for attacking Tillman and murdering Aurora teen Kenya Monhe. Tonight's update on Tillman is not about Forbes. We want to solely focus on her and how this survivor is not looking back. Nine News crime and justice reporter Anastasia Bolton talks with Tillman about her newest challenge. Big words, Fiano. Good. Seem bigger. No, no, it's not right. When you're just learning to talk. One year ago, today, I had maybe um, 10 words. Definitive. Nice, four syllable words. Relearning to talk at 32. No. Yes, um, thank you, um, nice. Out of a coma, Lydia Tillman couldn't even say her name. But it's um, all over. Lydia. Yeah, Lydia Tillman, yippee. Yippee. You really do a topic talk, topic walk. You went from saying one word, <laughs> and not being able to say your name yeah, to what you're able to do now. Now to walking. Fantastic. And talking. I um, ran. A big deal when you start out with just 10 words. I'm um, up to the challenge. You are up to the challenge. Her next challenge, are, jaw surgery. We are trying to raise $65,000. Because hers was crushed in too many places. I can um, chew um, soft foods only. I call it a challenge. For Lydia, it's just another step towards recovery. I have the um, utmost faith in People. You're using your prosody. Saying she's a survivor feels trite. She's much more than that. Oh, I remember. To those who know her. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> love you. Maybe even those who don't. Yeah. With photojournalist Andy Buck. <laughs> Anastasia Bolton, Nine News. Lydia does not have health insurance. If you'd like to help her, we have information on 9news.com.